Okay, I'm gonna even pull that one. It's called the Haja Habanero. Uh, let's see, what can we say about this one? This is a very sensitive plant. You can see there's some sun scalding. It's in my greenhouse, and I'm getting some sun scalding on the leaves. Um, the tops of the plants for the longest time were this bright yellow coming out. It wasn't sick or dying. It was just bright yellow when it, when the tops very first came out. I don't know if that was from too much nitrogen. I mean, I really didn't put that much nitrogen in, in the soil or anything. It just it was uh, just coming out really. So I stopped putting any fertilizers, Epsom salts. I, I just stopped with everything. So I didn't know if I was damaging the plant. And so I stopped, and uh, it seems like the yellowing's gone. I wish I would have filmed that, but I didn't think it was really that important. Um, but it was coming out bright yellow. I mean, and it would look, the leaves looked healthy, not curled. They're just yellow. It was just really weird looking. It, it looked, it was very distinctive, no matter what I did. And then I started to flush the soil, thinking, uh oh, I'm burning, I burned this plant, you know. And I started flushing the soil clean. And uh, I didn't add any more fertilizer, Epsom salt, or, or C90, or anything. I, didn't, I just took everything out. You know, I just washed it out really good. And now it seems like it's kind of back to normal. Everything's consistent anyway. So I don't know if that's normal or a really healthy looking plant or if I was burning it. So uh, anyway, uh, the stem is of uh, it's very just on the ridges. It has small little ridges on it. Just on the very ridges, you feel a little bit of something on the ridges, but on and in between the ridges, it's nice and smooth. Uh, there's no purpling in the stem. There's no purpling in the nodes. Okay. Um, the leaf is of a broad leaf type. You can see the the uh, uh, bulges out in the back. All right. The lobes, I should call them, the lobes. Uh, these plants are roughly uh, just about pushing three feet. One looks like it's about three feet, and the others are maybe 30 and 32, and somewhere in that range. They're kind of getting up there. Uh, let's see. All right, that's the top of the plant. You can see it's kind of still a little bit, kind of like bright green, yellow. Even though I stopped giving it fertilizer, it still kind of wants to do that. But when I was giving it like regular fertilizer and Epsom salt man this thing was coming out bright yellow it was just the freaky it was the only plant doing that and I was giving them all the same amount and kind and everything was the same it was just this is the only one I was really acting like that so uh, uh, here's the flower uh, these flowers got a pattern on them if you look very closely if I can see in my own view you see the pattern on the back of the flower very interesting looking flower. Uh, the rest of the flower seems to be an opaque white. It's not pure white. Um, it's the inside of it. You can really see that pattern right now. That is something, right? Um, they all have it. Here's another flower. Alright, just look in the center. Look at, look at that pattern in the center of that thing. You can really see the pattern. And that's not pollen. That's not pollen. That's the pattern of the flower itself. So it's a very interesting looking flower. Very beautiful. Uh, no fruits yet, guys. I have to wait a little bit for this one. So leaves are of a broad leaf type, but they're just not very big leaves. Even on the older leaves down here, they're not that big for, you know, a leaf shaped like that. It almost looks habanero-like, but tiny, miniature. Uh, maybe when a plant gets six feet tall, maybe it does a little bit different, but growing in pots, this is what you should expect. So, all right, so that is the Hodge Habanero.